Okay, so this is a real short video here. I'm inside my greenhouse and uh, my little inflation blower here uh, has gone out. So just going to replace it. It's really not that complicated. Um, first we're going to take the old one off. I'm holding this nut on the back side here. And there's another screw on the other side to get up on my ladder here. <sighs> Holding that screw there. Take the old motor off. Just set it up here. <clears throat> Put that down. <clears throat> I bought this new motor here off of Amazon.com. Nice little new inflation blower. Pretty much the same thing. Um, so we'll uh, let's see how I want to put this on here. I guess I'll put it on here like this. See which way the uh, bolt holes will line up on it. Okay. Stick this through. This right here. Easier if we just go ahead and get one started here, holding that. And let's see here. Get the nut on there and get my other nut. So, carefully. Careful not to drop this little nut here. Put that on there. Missing the, the third screw here. But these two will be enough to hold it. To get it. I guess that vibrated out at some point in time. Kind of get in the way here. Holding here. Okay. We're good there. All right. This is the uh, Dayton motor. Um, got that off of Amazon.com, and uh, I'll put a link to the page I bought it off of. So now, let's see here. We've got to. Hook the electrical up. I'm gonna take this screw out here. Just set it here. Go ahead and pop this little thing out here. There we go. And that back there. Bring these. Two wires out here. Go ahead and put 
this thing back on. I dropped this other screw. I'll just have to find it later. Okay, now we need to get our, our cord to plug it in with. Now, a lot of people don't know that uh, on these, these cords that have the same color, there's actually one rigid side and one smooth side. The rigid side is your neutral, or that goes to your white wire, uh, referred to as neutral in the AC world. And the, Put you a good wire nut on there. The wire nuts hold that together real good. All right, now we will go and plug this in down here. We have inflation. Now on your blower, this regulates how much air comes in. I need to reinflate this greenhouse, so I need maximum amount of air, so I'm going to leave that open. and That's as simple as it is. Well, there you have it. It's really not that hard to put in, but I hope this video has been helpful. Um, again, bought this off of Amazon.com. I'm going to put a uh, product link in the description of the video for you so you can if you're interested in, in replacing or buying one of these you can get it there um, so that'll be in the description area underneath the video you'll see a little button that says show more click on there you'll see the link and all the other products used in the making of this video you'll find there um, and uh, for your benefit for quick easy access so I hope you enjoyed it if you found it helpful and useful please like subscribe and comment until next time, Jungle Explorer signing out. Hi there, Jungle Explorer here, and today I want to let you know about some new features uh, that I'm including on my video pages. Um, some of my viewers have commented over the past year that they would like to know about the equipment I use to actually make the videos, the cameras, the software, and, and some of the other equipment in the videos, such as like on this one right here. Um, this is a, an ammunition review, and I use uh, a, a crony in it and a sound meter, a decibel meter and stuff. Um, and so I don't talk about the types and models of that equipment. And so I've started to begin to add that equip, um, equipment list to the videos and most of my uh, viewers don't know that it's there. I, I can't go back and re-edit the video. I've already posted it um, and that would just you know set everything backwards if I had to de delete it and start it over again. So I'm adding it to the description area of the video. And you're like, description area? Where is the description area? I don't see no description area. Yeah, well, I agree with you. YouTube really doesn't make it stand out. It's actually right here, the description area. And it's actually just about an inch tall. Um, and, you know, it doesn't even have a box around it or anything. So it's kind of sucky the way it is. But it is where I can add um, some additional information about the video. But you're not going to see it unless you click on this little show more button. And that, you see, this says equipment used in the making of this video. And then I have it all categorized, testing equipment, video equipment, shooting and safety equipment. And here you can find a, a list of all the, video, uh, uh, the uh, equipment that I've used in the making of this video. Um, and I've also included some links to the Amazon.com product pages where I actually bought this equipment from. Um, so in case you want to go check it out, uh, maybe even buy it, you know, it's up to you. But, uh, you know, just for your curiosity, there, there's the link. And we'll take you right to the, the actual um, product page. So, 
you know, for those people that are interested, not everyone is, and probably a very, very small portion of the people that, uh, that watch my videos actually have an interest in, in this. But for those who are, there are some who have commented and, and, and said they would like to see it in there. I am now adding that information below the video in the description area. You just have to come down here and click on that show more button and you can find it. So that's a new feature and I'll be mentioning that in some of my future videos. I just made this little instructional video to kind of help you know it's there and show you how to get to it. Um, I just want to say that I really appreciate all of my subscribers, viewers, uh, and uh, commenters. Um, I started this video channel last year uh, to share some of my experience that, that I have and to just kind of uh, help other people out, learn some things that I know, uh, kind of some old ancient knowledge, uh, uh, survival knowledge and stuff like that, homesteading knowledge, and, and also do some product reviews and things that I like. Um, and, you know, I didn't expect much out of it, and it's really grown because of all my viewers and the, the uh, subscribers and the people sharing the videos. It's just really actually grown a lot bigger than I ever expected to, and that's really encouraging. So I want to thank you guys for that and let you know that I'm going to keep trying to do a better job of making better videos, more useful videos that are helpful to you. So you guys uh, liking and sharing and commenting, that helps me. And I want to help you guys back by making better videos. So thank you again. Um, uh, let you let you go. Until next time, Jungle Explorer signing out.